the bow. Yeah, so um, I'm here doing video in a poncho and uh, they asked me to be drunk. No, rien de rien. No, so hot today, man. I tell you, it is a big day today. What? <laughs> What we've got here at Poncho is a very interesting, different place. It's in a very um, up and coming part of Singapore, so Kyongsak, Bukit Paso Road. It's English, lah. The English? It's English, it's I think I think Kyongsak is here, or well, Kyongsak is around the corner. Stephen, tolier de mi? No, he's not tolier de mi. Come on, he's tolier de mi. So, as per normal, we're going to go inside, check the place out, review some drinks, eat some food, meet some people, and uh, yeah, go from there. Ah, il faut qu'ils viennent là. C'est important parce que là, là, on a on a plus le temps là. Casa Poncho, it's a Latin destination restaurant and bar. We are young, we are new. The secret place to be, but we have a great place. Why? Because we have a front courtyard. Gnarly stuff on the walls, you've got a mask. The second section is the bar area. A mixologist will create the cocktail. Like sort of pagan ritual type stuff. The third section is the dining area. They also had some like Hindi graffiti on the wall, which they're now turning into trains. We are going to go in there, get involved. At the moment, they're just setting up, getting ready for us. I'd love a beer, yes. So which one? Which one? Which one's more like a lager? Yeah, like okay. Sante? This is a Belgian beer, guys. It'll be more of a sitting and thatting, to be honest. It'll be a bit of a sip and that. Come on, guys, drink, guys. It's really cool. I mean, getting a shop house like this in Singapore and making it to bar is kind of the best way of doing it. What do I think about James? Too short. Too short for his age. I think he's a pretty open character, but I did feel that he was slightly uh, condescending, a bit patronizing, <laughs> kind of like an older man just sort of patting me on the head. You know, I feel bad for him because he's a nice guy. I'm younger than him, better looking than him, so maybe there's a bit of jealousy. I feel very sad when I see him. I mean, it's too yeah, short tea. It is what it is. He's got, you know, tall man syndrome is what I call it. This one, you need to drink some soup, I think. I do have my reservations about this guy. I just feel there's something that's up his sleeve that he's not mentioning. Erina. Ah, Pocayila. Chinchilla, can you carry? We're going to Italian wine, Chinchilla. Well, Jeffrey is like, if you don't really know him, like when you met him at 13 Poncho, is like. Poncho is about having the dishes on the middle of the table and allowed anyone around the table to grab a piece of it. This is what is a Poncho about. It's all about sharing. So let's do this and let's do that. We we'll go for that. I think it's important to understand the, uh, where the royal family stands behind. Always like critiquing other like countries, especially the French. Pepito. I see Pepito. You don't. You're Belgium. You don't speak Flemish. Yeah, Is Flemish a place? So we are not French, we are Switzerland, Belgium and Belgium. So in, 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 in finale, he is 100% French. Yeah, they're just French. Just group them all together, you know, generalize it, they're French. Typical English. It's been an interesting experience meeting these people. They're, they're slightly... Um, what's the adjective? Homoerotic. There's a lot of um, kissing. It's a very French thing to do. It's like. <laughs> how many? I don't even know how many you should do. I mean, we train our manager to make sure that they please everyone and make sure that everyone gets whatever they're looking for. A bit of fun. And yeah, no, I mean, they're, they're, there's no doubt about these people. They, they like to touch each other and fondle each other. And it's slightly, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's different to what I'm used to. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. If right now we did like a little, little time loop, we went back in the old videos. <laughs> well, you did touchy-feely shit to me. These ones are very touchy. Someone's done to you what you do to me. It's true, but the thing is, I just find you very attractive. <laughs> I never saw two touchy like them. We only, we only became touchier because we were in the vicinity of people who like to touch each other. i tell you why. Because we feel good in our skin. And in French we say, C'est bien dans ta peau. <laughs> if you're not comfortable touching another guy. Oh, hold on. Because we feel good about ourselves, there's no arm to touch each other. We feel good. Like this, like that, you know. Bit of that, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> go on, go on, go on. Mate, we'll kill you for that shit where I'm from, man. <laughs> We've actually had some French hospitality, which is a very rare thing. It's actually Belgian hospitality, because there's a lot of... 
Actually, we will have really simple classic cocktails from South America, inspired by mezcal, sugar canes and piscos, grapes. We are the mezcal ambassador for all the mezcal brands all over Asia. Some of the drinks that they did make, the mezcal really complemented the end product. We try to make sure that people, when they come to our place, <laughs> they go happy. <laughs> When you shot it with that stupid fucking water pistol thing, after a while it just gets quite revolting. Got in my eye, it got in my hair, it got in my face. I was just, you know, what the, what the fuck's the point of it? We're going to try something new. One spray in the nose, well, come on. They also shoved mezcal up my nose, which is... Um, Mini one! Mini one! How would you describe the mezcal up the nose experience? <laughs> <laughs> We protect our customer. It's so fucking horrible, my God. Is it, is it worse than other experiences up your nose? <laughs> you know, it's I'm, I'm like, um, I'm a Buddhist. Bam, 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 bam. Bim, 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 bam, bam, bam. I'm a person, I'm a nature person. <laughs> I love it. I haven't had many other experiences up my nose, to be honest. I'm more of a gummer. I think it's just a French, Belgian, Swiss substitute for cocaine. It's the reason why they've got it, really. I think they go very hard, very fast, but whether they have the staying power of the British, I don't know. The Belgians, I mean, they're, they're, they have issues. Can, can you throw your glass to his, on his head and you throw yours to his head? I mean, I've, I had to change my shirt, which I'm very sad about. I love that other shirt. Yeah. Or business. What's business in French? Uh, business. Où est la piscine? Is where's the swimming pool? Will French people stop speaking to us after this video? Probably. I don't have many French friends anyway. I have one. I'm trying to break into the Belgian crowd though, like on a, on a personal, you know, like just get in there and you know, I'm fucked. Why do you want to get into the Belgian crowd? Good beer. Well, this is Mexican. I keep. You know what? Yeah. Get this. Poncho is a Mexican bar owned by French people who aren't even French. You know what? In this life, it's not about where you're from. It's about who you are. We have our own style. Come and try to understand the differences compared to other people in the market. It's not where you're from. It's not how old you are. It's not how old you how are. How young I am. No. Or how young I am. No. <laughs> it's about who you are and how fat you used to be. Je t'aime, j'adore. Non, ne regrette rien. Mescal, egg whites, avocado, and love. The manly love. Manly love. Manly love. I love Sadly, it. I love the one of the ingredients in this. I unfortunately cannot imbibe in. Okay, why? Imbibe in. Yeah, imbibe. Yeah. That's not even in, is that is that is that even English? Imbibe. Yes, it means to drink in posh. <laughs> Even the French guy knows what imbibe means. What the fuck? Anyways, we're gonna step up back into Casa Poncho. We're gonna have, try these cocktails, see how they fare, see if we like them, and then uh, we will we will rate them in a in a special way, and um, we will see how they match up to previous cocktails we've had. I mean, there are certain cocktails we've had that are stupendous. Can these live up to the hype? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. First drink was the um, the Negroni Negorito. It came in this um, in this skull. It was, made me kiss the skull. But I mean, I'm not the biggest, normally the biggest fan of the Negroni. It is a harsh flavor to drink. It was a mixture of mezcal, Negroni, and I think it's the mezcal. The I mezcal think it was the mezcal. Works, yeah. I think the mezcal in it really, really yeah. just took it over that that one extra notch. This one has got a bit more intricacy to it with so with the coffee powder sort of square on the outside, but it just it works. It's a very very good drink. Yeah. I'll give it an 8.5. I would give it a B. B plus. The next drink was the passion fruit mojito. Good drink. It was still a bit too sweet for my liking. However, there was a little bit more of a kick to it with the mezcal that was put into the mojito, but again, not one I could drink more than two of on a night out just because of the sugar rush and bleh. You know what's so weird about me is I like sweet things, but I don't like sweet drinks. Your face, so. your demeanor, your mannerisms, everything is weird about you. Pardon? What? But I, I did like it, but I give that probably a, a six and a half, personally for me. I would drink it, but I wouldn't drink it too much. C plus. Why does he do it differently? Hold on. What was the raspberry drink called? Raspberry ripple. It was 
Raz love. Raz raspberry, raspberry love. But it was Raz love. Oh yes, I yes, I yes, I yes, I yes, Because you know you love the Raz love. Anyway, while she fucks off, Rosary, it was raspberry, mezcal, absinthe, and ouzo. And it was a very, Rad very love. good drink. It was a bit different. It was very strong. Oh, sorry. I wish you'd shut the fuck up. It was a very good drink. It was, it was strong. It was delicious. For me, it was a perfect blend between sweet and savory. Yeah. Nice volume, decent strength. So yep. you felt it. That's really nice. But you didn't feel overawed by it. The only thing is, for some of the guys who maybe aren't as comfortable drinking a drink out of a Cosmo glass, yeah. a pink drink, it might not work for them. But otherwise, I would definitely have that again. Oh. To be fair, these guys have been super hospitable. Which is rare, because French hospitality is very rare. Yeah, it's, they're, they're, it's almost like they're not French. So you've seen what happened during the daytime, but what happened in Poncho after midnight? La cucaracha, la cucaracha. No, no comment, no comment. <laughs> if you want a party, this is, this is a very good place. This is, it. This, is, this is the place. You just want to go somewhere where the management are having as much of a good time as you, you want are. You want to go where everybody knows your, your name. name. You know, to be fair to them, the food was great, the drinks were great, the atmosphere is fantastic. It didn't really have a Mexican atmosphere, it just felt a little bit more like a bunch of drunk French and English people sort of butting heads, but in the end, sort of the heads melting together. Ah, uh, do you know what? At the end of the day, Poncho is all about people, right? And we are unique. You may have this somewhere else, but that will be different. It's why in this day and age, especially in somewhere like Singapore, we see an amalgamation of all kinds of cultures becoming friends from, from different backgrounds, different creeds. What we do in Poncho is about us, and we cannot be cloned, right? Can you be cloned? Can you be cloned? Can we be cloned? No, no, Can we be cloned or not? I don't think so. You don't think so, or you are sure? I'm sure it happened before, but... English, French, Belgian, there's always going to be a butting of heads. And in this place, when you had two opposites coming together with the catalyst of mezcal, what did you think was going to happen? I don't know. Okay. Now, you really think you're funny? I mean, come on, guys. This is not right. All right. No, make it happen. No, it's really. probably no, not. Just be, try to be no, funny really, at least. Really. Like. It's not funny in France. Hey, can, you, can you try to say something that makes sense? Trebi no, no, that doesn't make sense. At least, like, make it, like, laugh. Yes, of like, course. Ask this guy, like. Très bien. Hey, come on. And you think, and you think, this is fine for you. Yeah, uh, that's right. That's, yeah? That, that is, this is the problem, guys. This is the problem. You think it's fine. This is wrong. No, you don't like this kind of behavior. Mate, your, your shirt has ruined it for both of us. I've ruined it, I apologize. Yes, I'm sorry, but like, we cannot accept such behavior. Can we just... I like, don't even have enough fucking... <laughs> So this is going to be the last episode for the foreseeable. As Stephen is leaving to pursue his love with his beautiful girlfriend, Misha Sussex. What would you say is the biggest thing you've got from this? It evolved our friendship further than just very, very good, mate. It evolved it into more than that. And I'll be very, when you leave, mate, I know you're leaving these a couple of weeks, I'll be very, very sad. I'll be very, very sad. There'll be tears, there'll be, there'll be tissues. There'll be my girlfriend consoling me as I'm going, <laughs> what did you go? You, no. you have been, you've been a really good friend. Um, who knew that someone who's such an, a large age gap from me, yeah. we could get on. But the thing is, is that, you know, you never know. If this can blossom it's into something big. even bigger, then it's only the very beginning of the S&D era, which I very much hope it is. All right, let's sign it off. The right. classic, this right? This is the end of the, the year-long series of sips. He's a wanker. Uh.
Candela, 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 me quemo ahí. 